grab onto your heart-shaped chocolates because it's about, about to get real. We are going to be celebrating Galentine's Day. Galentine's Day originated on the hit TV show Parks and Recreation and it was initiated by, it was made up by the character Leslie Nope, who decided that Galentine's Day was a day that she would be celebrating with her friends to show them how much she appreciated them. It's not about, you know, being critical of romantic love, but celebrating your friendship with other women. But over the years, it started to be celebrated by men and women together. And this year, I'm going to be celebrating Galentine's Day with my dogs, but I will be having a Galentine's Day party at my house on Valentine's Day. You might be thinking, what on earth is Galentine's Day? Well, my friend, let's take a trip down memory lane. Originating from the beloved sitcom, Parks and Recreation, Valentine's Day is a brainchild of the unstoppable Leslie Nope, a character known for her zest for life and unwavering love for her friends. Airing for the first time in 2010, the episode titled Galentine's Day introduced us to the fresh and exciting celebration. A day dedicated to showering your closest friends with love and appreciation. Like Valentine's Day, which centers around romantic love, Galentine's Day is all about platonic love. It's about celebrating those friendships that add sparkle to our lives. The friends who are there through thick and thin, making us laugh, landing a shoulder to cry on, lending a shoulder to cry on, and cheering us on every step of the way. So when is this day of friend love, you ask? Well, it's celebrated on February 13th, a day before Valentine's Day, a day when we can step away from the romantic pressures of Valentine's Day and instead focus on the bonds of friendship regardless of our relationship status. But what's a celebration without some fun traditions? Galentine's Day encourages gestures of affection like gift giving and even the writing of poems. It could be a heartfelt letter to your best friend or a quirky limerick for your group chat. The point is to express love and appreciation for your friends in your unique way. And let's get one thing clear. Galentine's Day isn't a day to wallow in loneliness or to criticize couples. Instead, it's a day to celebrate the love that exists in our friendships, the love that often goes unnoticed amidst our busy lives. And the best part? Galentine's Day is for everyone. It's not limited by gender or age. It's a day for all those who believe in the power of friendship, who understand that love comes in many forms, not just romantic. So that's how Galentine's Day came to be. Now let's see how we can celebrate it. Now that we know what Galentine's Day is all about, it's time to party. Galentine's is not just a day, it's a feeling. A feeling of friendship, love, and appreciation for the people. Traditional ways of celebrating Galentine's Day involve sharing gifts and writing heartfelt poems. But the essence of the day is about showing appreciation for your friends in your own unique way. Imagine a day filled with laughter, love, and appreciation, all shared with the people who mean the most to you. It's about celebrating the bond that holds you together, the memories you've created, and the adventures you've shared. It's about saying, I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for our friendship. The fun part is there, is, there are no set rules for how to celebrate. You can write a poem for your friend expressing how they've enriched your life. 
or you could give your friend something special, something that signifies your bond. It could be as simple as a handwritten letter or as grand as a surprise party. Quality time together, reminiscing old times and creating new memories. You could plan a movie night, a picnic in the park, or even a trip to a place you've always wanted to visit together. The key is to do something that you both enjoy that strengthens your bond. I'm throwing a Valentine's Day party at my place on Valentine's Day because I'll be spending the actual Valentine's Day with my pets in the park. Now, you might be wondering, how does one throw a Valentine's Day party? Well, let me fill you in on all the details. It starts with the decor, of course, Picture this, a room filled with balloons of all sizes, colors that pop, and scream celebration. It's a sight that instantly brings a smile to your face. And then there's food. I'm talking a shark car, charcuterie tray. That's a feast for both the eyes and the palate. We've got bowls full of candy because, let's be honest, who doesn't love a good sugar rush? And for a refreshing touch, there's a bowl of fruits. It's all about balance, right? Now let's talk about the centerpieces, mason jars filled with vibrant carnations and roses. As for the drinks, we've got sparkling cider for a toast to friendship, and maybe even some, some champagne for those who want to add a touch of fizz to their celebration. And speaking of celebration, the dress code is all about fun. Whether you feel fabulous in a sequence dress or comfortable in a t-shirt and jeans, it's all about wearing what makes you feel great. By the way, the girl in the sequin dress, that's me. Well, it's all about the people. I've invited some close knit men from my community because Valentine's Day is all about celebrating all kinds of friendships. We'll have toasts, share stories, play some games, and who knows, we might even break into a karaoke session. In a nutshell, it's a day filled with laughter, love, and lots of fun. It's about celebrating friendship, the ones that have stood the test of time, the ones that have been there through thick and thin, and the ones that have added color to our lives. And that's how I'm celebrating Valentine's Day. Now, what about you? So are you ready to celebrate Valentine's Day? Celebrate this day of love and friendship with all your heart. It's a special day to honor the bond you share with friends, your tribe, your chosen family. And just while you're at it, why not take this celebration a notch higher Share the love with our community here at Thrive and Pause. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. It's a small action, but it goes a long way in supporting this channel. And that's not all. We've got a whole lot of fun, informative, and engaging content lined up for you.
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Thrive and Pause on YouTube. And see you next time. Bye.